Stangibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I just like to tell you why radio fascinates me so. I think people who become radio amateurs must have a built-in, inherent, perhaps genetic, fascination with radio. The idea that you can communicate with someone else with no intervening human-made infrastructure whatsoever. I can have a little box here. Someone else can have a little box in Texas. And we can sit down at our respective little boxes and talk to each other by any of many, many digital and analog modes available with no connection whatsoever. In fact, if our radios are battery powered, all the power goes out, all the utilities fail, all of our human-made contrivances fail. As long as the natural environment continues to support it, and it almost always will, we'll still be able to talk to each other. That is what fascinates me and always has about radio. My earliest fascination with radio was when I was growing up as a maybe a five or six year old kid in Rochester, Minnesota on Ninth Avenue Northeast in Rochester, Minnesota. And we had this old radio AM radio receiver on the kitchen table that had vacuum tubes and it had one of those dials, you know, that it is like a, it looks like a pointer that goes across and it had a little speaker and it was about the size of well, about the size of my head. <laughs> Probably a good deal more intelligence than my head contains, but about that same size. And I used to imagine that the noise that came out of that radio was made by a little bear within that radio. There was a little bear in the radio that was talking to me. Uh, that's as good a theory as any, isn't it, nowadays? Except where I might end up going someday, the bears are quite a lot larger than would fit into that little box. In fact, we've got... I've never seen a bear here, but I've seen bighorn sheep and deep uh, deer wandering around and wild turkeys. and It's kind of nice to be out of the city, but it, the radio will work when everything else fails. And you can make a very simple amateur radio station that can send CW, Morse code, and a very simple radio receiver that will receive CW, Morse code, for a few dollars, you can still, if you have the patience, find the parts and build one. I can build a transmitter and receiver here in the black holes, and someone else can build a transmitter and receiver in Austin, Texas, and we can make them work on a certain frequency that will allow us to talk to each other almost any time, of the day or night. Power company failure, no problem. Utility failure, no problem as long as our radios continue to work and we can make sure that they will no problem that's what fascinates me about radio is how communication is possible through some kind of a an intervening vacuum where there's just there's nothing to connect us but we can still talk to each other that to me, just is the ultimate coolness. And I still think so to this day, almost 63 years old. Stangibalisco, W1GV, saying 73, which means best regards. And so long, which, in my native language, translates to... Did da 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 da